So yesterday went pretty well. I mean, it was just a basic training day. We kind of went over the uh, the booklet of how we're going to say things to people and present and what have you. But that's not really what the topic is about today. <laughs> I actually, yesterday, I was getting tired of all the Windows 10 problems I was having. Windows 10 is a great, uh, is a great, like, OS. But, you know, I was constantly, I don't know if it's because it's the free version and they don't care to fix these problems, but it, uh, I've just been having all these issues, like security problems. I, it also kind of is being affected by my SSD. My SSD has always given me problems with, uh, you know, it, um, like not letting me have access to things like that and it would always you know like lose uh, lose space and then gain space like it was just always like flustering and whatever and just like I've been getting this problem too where I can't move or delete or not delete sorry I can't rename or move folders it'll just like say the even I'll write there then and there on the desktop make a folder and I'll try and like type a name for it and then it'll say like the un or this is an unspecified device or like it, this item cannot be found and then it just it stays at new folder and I can't change it so I did a fix for that and it worked and it was awesome I was like oh cool finally I can rename them again and so the Windows 10 had an update recently and so once the update came back or once I did the update the problem persisted and even if I did the same old strategy to get rid of the um, the unspecified device or whatever uh, showing up it, it still was there so I decided I had to, um, you know, I'm just going to do a clean restart of Windows 7. I didn't really do it clean, I kept all my other files. The thing is that that's annoying is I tried to just keep all my games installed and keep everything there so I don't have to reinstall them all again. And so I went to, you know, put my o or put my Windows 7 disk in, you know. I think it actually has unlimited uses, I don't know. Because, I mean, I put it in like so many times now and it still works. But, yeah, so I freaking put the... Um, disk in and I go to you know set up to put the OS on my SSD and then it was saying like it couldn't I could not put my OS on this device and then like the reasons why I said something about not being GPT compatible or something like that so I had to literally go I had to shift F10 to open up the command prompt and then I had to type in disk part and then select disk 2 because that was my SSD and then I had to clean the disk entirely and then convert it to GPT so then I could put the OS on it. It was just a huge inconvenience for me. Now I'm busy downloading all my games. However, I'm going to be gone, I mean, today and tomorrow. So it's not like I'm going to be, you know, needing to play games. I'll just be downloading games while I'm gone. But yeah, it's just kind of an inconvenience, really.